According to a recent ERCOT study, the real-time co-optimization of energy and ancillary services, or RTC, could reduce total system costs by between 13 and 19 percent. ERCOT performed simulations of actual market conditions between June of 2023 and September of 2024, but with RTC in place. Over the 12-month period, including the extremely volatile summer of 2023, energy costs were reduced by $6 billion, or around 19%. The implementation of RTC still could have saved around $2.5 billion in total, or a 13% decrease, when including the significantly less volatile summer 2024, rather than summer 2023. But how is this actually accomplished? Right now, a resource is assigned ancillary service responsibility in the day ahead market, and ERCOT has limited ability to move that responsibility around when it reaches real time. Let's look at two example generators. Their offer curves for energy and ancillary services are shown by the lines in this chart. In this case, ERCOT assigns ancillary service responsibility to generator one in the day ahead market because it's cheaper to do so. However, when energy demand rises in the real-time market and Generator 1's capacity is tied up in an ancillary service contract, ERCOT needs to turn to Generator 2 to provide real-time energy, which results in higher overall system costs due to their respective offer curves. Under real-time co-optimization, ERCOT will be able to balance ancillary service procurement and energy dispatch across these two generators to minimize total overall system costs. In our example, this means assigning the ancillary service responsibility to Generator 2, despite its offer being more expensive, because it means Generator 1 can meet all of the energy demand with its lower energy offer. This results in a lower total cost. To implement RTC, changes need to be made to how ERCOT clears the market. Currently, ancillary service responsibility is determined at day ahead and ERCOT takes this into account when it dispatches resources to meet system demand in real time. Under RTC, generation and load resources will submit offers to provide both energy and ancillary services in the real time market. Every five minutes, ERCOT will dispatch these resources to meet system demand for energy and assign new ancillary service awards. Real-time co-optimization is set to go live in December of 2025, so head to the full article to learn more. Thanks for watching.